Okay, hey, 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 training plants every day. Jordan Scope coming at you from the stem truck today. Um, so anyways, uh, end of the interview. I might, might put this one up. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it comes out. But uh, another banger day. Um, kicking some ass. And uh, it was kind of on the way home. I got thinking about my last Swag Incorporated video and kind of what it's about. And... Uh, you know, I got thinking, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, because obviously you, you got to be more than just the Sawyer, your, your entire, you, you got to have goals. I think that's an important note into it. Um, I do more than that. And I think it's well responded to that idea and to where it is. So I feel comfortable hanging around for a little while. I'll, I'll say that. I, I like responsibilities. I like bounce around i like to do things i like to stem things out i like to you know work out the the mechanics on, on really hardcore sets like that and high volume pressure situations and things like that and and usually from the Sawyer's position you never know it's it's when it's done it's done and the faster you can get it done the better that looks for the business and the more cleaner you can do that in a tighter time frame while being quality to your product you know the better that is and that's a lot of pressure you know this is an artist in as much as it is manufacturing or it is a machine kind of game mechanics or machining so you got to take those kinds of things in consideration um and i like those kinds of things but uh, i mean i could do the same thing with cutting stacking firewood i mean there's there you there's oh there's a business model for it out there and i think a lot of the times when and this is a trademark idea that's been out for a long, long time that if you look at the really successful people and it doesn't matter what industry or what business they have, they're they're constantly thumping and they take the shit real seriously. Um, you know, those guys are grinding for every penny. They're real frugal as much as they like to invest in their own business and things like that and i say invest here for that standpoint to say like you're investing in all the skills and criteria that are necessary from a swag position outside like that um you know the more nuts and bolts you tighten down the less it's going to screw up if there's a hurricane or you know what have you so well, anyways, I got thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know, I got, you know, long game kind of play, you know, save up some money, kind of get into, you know, some of these things. You know, what if it wasn't the uh, the swag game, you know, and I just couldn't get traction on it because I tried a lot of things like that. And, and what I specifically want it to be is a kind of hard, hard industry to get into for what it is. You know, for a company to need it, you got to have that need, and that's a hard need to find, you know companies that are failing one they don't like to talk about it too you know to hire in a guy at that point you're fucking bleeding <laughs> not really conducive to what it is but you can do it from a partner's perspective because i got thinking about why well, right, what are the different mechanics you know what are the different terms you know what are the thing how do you buy into that thing and what do you get out of it um so it really wouldn't matter what business it is other than it's got to be a little bit physical demanding you know there's got to be you know some safety standards and some things like that because i need that stuff for the catalyst um high volume would be great you know but i can turn a, a low volume game into a high pressure therefore high volume situation that what you pack into a single box mathematically numbers of steps and things like that that go into a certain thing or time spent on a system but anyways um not really mechanics you know that, that's the one that's a little haunt you gotta really kind of you gotta make sure those machines are really good and it's got to be able to sustain you know I, I again when you got the right setup for it it's great and it, you can do it but a lot of companies you know what i'm talking about it's, it's, you beat the fuck out of them things and it's a hard life for a mechanic <laughs> you're always chasing the rabbit instead of actually getting them and, and doing it it's nice when you fix one and get it but it ain't gonna last forever anyways um, you know, so, so what do I want out of a partnership? You know, when I'm thinking about a company or I'm going to stand there for a long period of time or something like that, well, I like, you know, my own little division under my own little management and I don't mind, you know, orders coming into me, you know, it's just a high ranking officer and what have you kind of criteria, situational model. 
So it doesn't matter if I have superiors. Um, when I say something, it's usually law. After that point, it doesn't matter. Um, that's good enough for me. Um, but what I really want out of it is I want to train a generation. I want to train the next generation of men, you know, and, and you got to have that partnership in a business or you got to have the full ownership of it. And I, I really like it from the partner side of the game. Um, you know, with a consultant from Swag Incorporated like that, it's, it's a little, still a little finicky, you know, but when you come in from a partnership idea, you get to, you get to hire in who you want, when you want, why you want them. And, uh, you know, again, the game isn't that, you know, some of you may stay, some of you may go. I get that. And there's always the reality that you're just going to go. But while you're here, I get to open up with some day one stuff. Like, I take my training regimen seriously. I hired you over a lot of people specifically. You know, and you got the last man standing. You know, I kind of want to build that reputation on the way to getting there to say, you know, that's why you send your fucking kid to Jordan to train him. You know, I want that kind of legacy beyond that point to say, you know, this is, you know, I learned from Jordan. You know, that was in this region, this area, and for wherever that epicenter and ground zero kind of stretches out to, you know, that name as a reference or, you know, that you come from a place where that was when I was, was a big fucking deal, you know, and anybody would take you up in a heartbeat. Um, not because it's just the name is synonymous. It's because, you know, what I can do with you, you know, and like I said, you know, I take my training regimen seriously. You're not here to dick around, you know, you're here to take six months seriously, fucking bolt nuts, tighten everything down man fuck we're taking the wrench to your structure you know it's a it's a hard crank across side of your head the first few days you know i don't necessarily say i was learned like that i always just kind of went for it because i knew if i didn't i would have to prepare for that and so i always took that kind of model in consideration in any job ever whether it be mcdonald's country store or whatever you, you're always prepared for it so if it comes it's a hell of a lot less um you know, and it's not just a boss. Hard day. You can have a hard day at a fucking country store, man, when you're just hammered. And if you're not prepared for, you know, just the, on the little days where you're not doing nothing or, you know, in the, in the shop and you're just kind of, you ain't got a lot of rock to run and you're not fucking cleaning up all the time and you're not fucking running and gunning like that, then it hurts, man. It fucking kick and crank you right across the side of the face. And, you know, I've just always kind of, you know, I went at the, the place was always clean in the country store, you know, always had my shit prepped up, you know, and I'm always looking for something to do, sweep and clean and get halfway through it. So that way, if I do have to hatch it out, you know, just kind of 10 seconds here, clean it up a little bit and we'll come back over 10 seconds, clean it up, hit the fucking thing, you know, come over and do this, do that, do this, do that. You know, and meanwhile, there's, in the real life industry of it, you know, there's, I mean, if you're going to come back, you're going to go to a grinder like that, I'm going to take you, so, you know, I got to teach you some things about, you know, this is, this is a life lesson, you know, and again, I, I take the Masons game seriously, and they're not quite Freemasons, I always considered it my own little kind of thing with Swag Incorporated and STEM that, you know, we're stone Masons, you know, this is a real hard kind of way. To, to learn it and you know it's super dangerous it's you know a lot of things can get you if you're not real careful with it but there's there's a lot of great things like cool metaphors the mountain and you know you, you have a lot of fun with it if you know what you're doing psychologically while explaining stuff and and taking those ideas outside of the shop and things like that and I kind of always, you know, that, that was kind of my thing, you know, for a long time. And, and I just kind of integrated it over into the Swag Incorporated game and the STEM mechanics, the universal field theory kind of concept of it. And, you know, I want to be able to sprinkle some of that stuff into that. You know, I want, you know, I, I want you to take kind of understand, you know, in the shop here, this is a lot of physics. This is a lot of mathematics. There's all kinds of psychology that you guys can, you guys can grab a hold of with both hands. You know, grab it. Take handful. Take two. You know, if you're aware of it and, and you want these jobs to be fulfilling for you and you want to find that, you know, the company can rely on you and trust you and be worth the pay that they give you and do these things or go out and to do your own in the real world, you're going to have to learn to know how to do those skills. And 
You ask any business owner, you don't make money by sitting around. I don't care what kind of fucking business. I don't care if your your job is taking money A and putting it in a fucking pile B. If you don't do that, you're not going to make any. I don't care how much of a turn on the profit return you have for that. It's just you won't do it. It's impossible. And I would say something to the other side of the fence. You know, look at the guys who don't. Guys and gals who don't. Have it all handed to them or what have you. And I'm not I'm not saying, you know, anything right out front. I'm not going to call you a punk-ass motherfucker straight out. But uh, you're a punk-ass motherfucker straight out, you know. So, yeah, most of the time you shitty people. You know, I mean, I, obviously there's exceptions to every, every rule. Heisenberg's uncertainty. Okay, so we, we got, we'll map it. But generally... You're in general relativity and fucking some cranks on the gear and planetary rotation. You're an asshole. <laughs> you don't have a fucking clue. And, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, kids growing up, you know, some of the younger guns, 18, 19, 20-year-olds, you know, have a chance to, you know, learn some of those things that I was never, never kind of told, you know, and never, you know was exposed to when I was, you know, the first few days I was trained, and, you know, it would have fired me up even more, um, you know, I had to fight for those things, and I want to make sure that I allow them to fight for it, you know, it's not just going to come to you if, if, if you don't know what you're doing, um, but I'll show you what to do, you know, I'll show you how to map things out, I'll show you how to blueprint, and be economically, uh, systematic in your forms, and, hustle man bust ass be a strong person man just it's more than just brain work it's more than just back work and labor there's no such thing as general labor only generals doing labor as far as i'm concerned and uh once you understand that statement you can kind of look around and make your opinions one way or the other to what you see and what you think about yourself but the reality is, is even the the grunt and the crew does something that if it's not done, and, and it doesn't need to be done at a timely matter, just one pitting in the bucket is just five minutes of that pro fucking grinder won't have to do, and therefore something else, and you know, The two of them for that grinder. They have one guy in there that you can't fucking survive without because if you ask them, they asked you to do his job for that day, you understand it's going to take you a month to fucking figure it out, to get that kind of worked out system down. I'm not going to bullshit you, you know, there's a lot of industries and a lot of things that I could say, you know, if the training regimen was correct. You know, I, this is a common core idea. You know, you can't learn everything. You know, but if, if you were trained in a certain way over a certain time, six months, a year, what have you, you know, you could get everything. But a lot of times the business is going to say, you got to hold your feet to the fire, man. You're on the torch and you got to get good with every aspect of it before, you know, you're going to get so good at it that the big saws can't keep up with you. You know, the system of the form of seasonal changes and things like that, the general ground law haven of the way just makes it so you're plowing. And you're never behind because you're always staying ahead. But if you're if you're just down all the time and you don't give a fuck and you're screwing around and, you know, it's going to stay on your shoulders all day, every day, and you're never going to get a chance to breathe. So on the other side of that, you get to be a fucking titan, man. And you can do it and relax. And you have a good time and be comfortable and, and understand what you're doing. And I just want to hand that off. You know, not only because I want to hand it off, because I want to be the Titan of the Titans, right? You know, you got to you gotta stand up here, man. And, uh, you know, that's that's what I get out of that. I mean, obviously, you get the money. You're a partner in a business. You're paying in. You're making sure product goes out. But also, you know, I get something real valuable. Catch you on the next one.